do not install this update before you watch this video. So I don't normally make videos as impromptu and unpolished as this is going to turn out. But I needed to make a new Vox Talks tech. I, I needed to make a news video because this is really freaking stupid. This lighting is really stupid as well. Not a whole lot I can do about it. So as I've covered on the channel, the Windows 10 1809 October feature update has just released and started rolling out to new users, or well, to users. And it brings forth a not so great dark mode for Windows Explorer, a new clipboard manager, and a couple other features here and there, but was missing a lot of features that I was looking forward to. What's also missing are some of my files prior to the install. A lot of people's files, all of their files are gone after the update. Do not install this update before you watch this video. So I haven't figured out, I've been reading a couple articles, I haven't gotten a gist of what exactly is causing it, but something within the Windows 10 1809 update installation process is deleting people's files out of their user library folders, which by default, if you go to documents, pictures, music, videos, downloads, those are what's called your libraries, which are just your main hub folders that you have been using on Windows since Windows XP. And by default, those are set in the C users, whatever the folder is, directory. Now, if you've set up OneDrive to automatically sync those, you may have your files synced to OneDrive, and if they were synced and updated, your files are most likely safe. Or, if you're like a lot of us power users, you may have moved your uh, documents or videos or music or whatever to a secondary hard drive because your primary boot drive, maybe a solid state drive that was smaller, didn't have the room for them. But if you didn't do any of this, you may be missing files. Even I was missing files because while I have moved my primary download library to one of my hard drives, a secondary drive, I did still have a C slash users slash me slash downloads folder that uh, one of the download managers I use called jdownloader2 defaulted to. And I never bothered messing with it because it kept kind of my junk downloads separate from my normal downloads and things like that. And all of them are gone. Over 100 gigabytes of data is gone as a result of this update. It are, it's files that, I mean, I noticed after the update and hadn't quite figured out what was going on that my C drive had a lot more space available after the update than I thought it did before the update, but I wasn't really keeping track and I didn't think anything of it. And then I went and downloaded something with jdownloader and went back to the, my C slash users downloads folder. It's all gone. It is wiping all of those files and either overriding it with install direct or installation files that it needs and then getting rid of those or it's just deleting them all together. And they are just gone. Absolutely gone. This is absurd. This is completely unacceptable. I don't know how you let that happen. I don't know how this can happen within the framework of an update because it shouldn't be touching the user directory files in the first place. It, my mind is just blown. Microsoft, what the hell are you doing at this point? Seriously, what is going on? How is that remotely acceptable? I don't get it. I, I am astounded at the incompetence here and the fact that this is happening, and it's affecting many people. Like, there are some content creators that are reporting that they've lost over 70 gigs of video footage that they kept in their videos directory, because that's a reasonable place to put it. Your entire photo library of your family's photos could be gone. Your entire music library that you've collected over the years could be gone. Now, the way to avoid this happening is, prior to updating, back up those directories. Copy them to an external hard drive, copy them to another hard drive in your computer, a flash drive, whatever you need to do to make a secondary copy out of those folders into those drives. Now you could also set up, if you have fewer files, uh, OneDrive to automatically sync those files to the cloud or things like that. But with automatic syncing stuff, it's not as guaranteed that those files will sync back properly or won't be deleted from the sync when this happens. So the only way to truly make sure is to create a backup. And there is the mantra that a file that isn't backed up isn't important, but not everybody can keep up with that, my, myself included. So please back up your files before you make operating system upgrades. I don't usually say this in my update videos because, well, it's kind of implied, but at the same time, most of us take that risk anyway. 
and since Windows just kind of forcibly installs the updates without really asking your permission, like you have no permission involved in that update installation process, it doesn't really matter because even if you wait and wait to manually update, it's probably going to update next time you use it anyway. So whew, I am trying to stay calm and level-headed. I'm hopefully going to await more information and see if anything new comes of this, but I'm heated. Not even because my files were gone, because most of what I lost were just kind of junk. It was, you know, mostly just junk downloads and things I was tinkering with. Nothing important. Like, I, I won't remember what was lost, and I'll probably never miss it. But the fact that these are people's core files that could be totally gone forever is just baffling and terrifying to me. And this is one of those, you start to wonder where things start to, you know, where the breaking point is for the core market user base. I don't know. And I forgot to mention, in case you were wondering, no, your user profile folders are not backed up in the windows.old folder either. So there is no recovery version. It does not keep them whatsoever. And from what I'm reading, rolling back from the update doesn't restore them, which is, you know, that's the point of the windows.old folder is if you roll back, it'll put those older files back into place. They're just gone. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you for listening, and again, just make sure you back things up before you update. If you missed my update video, link will be in the description down below. Otherwise, have a nice day. I'm going to try to avoid dealing with this frustration and play with my new camera.